Hello and welcome to the home of the Ghost Owl, continuing our series of Available to Buy Now. We've covered a whole bunch of factions, both Legacy and Core, and from what we've seen, the Legacy factions are actually much better served than the Core factions, with the exception of Bretonia and Tomb Kings. So, without further ado, the aim of this, looking to see what miniatures you can buy right now on Games Workshop's web store. We're sticking to Games Workshop, other places are available, um, but we're sticking with that uh, to keep it uh, bounded and uh, seeing what you can buy if you don't have any interest in Bretonians and Tomb Kings. And I can tell you now, there's a lot of people out there that want to play the old world that aren't interested in Tomb Kings and Bretonia. Well, there are other options out there, and actually, in a lot of cases, they've got plenty of miniatures for you to buy. But we've covered some of those already. We're now going to take a look at the Orcs and Goblins, which is a core faction. Core factions traditionally, uh, so far in our series, not doing so well, to the point where the Empire can't even build a viable army list. Right, so as we go to the Orcs and Goblins, first up, we've got Lords. Well, um... You can get a Savage Orc War Boss. He's currently listed as a Savage Orc Big Boss, but there's no reason why you couldn't use him as a War Boss. Um, limited in terms of you don't have the option of the mounts and different weapon options and everything else, but a pretty good miniature, actually. I uh, actually quite like it. Um, but, uh, yeah, in the Savage Orc variety only, unfortunately, uh, for the War Boss. In terms of goblins, uh, there is a basic goblin. There's not a lot of straightforward, just basic goblins uh, available, but you do have a goblin war boss. Uh, he's listed as a scuttle boss on gigantic spider. So you've got a basic uh, goblin uh, war boss here, and there he is on his giant spider. So um, again, a uh, uh, another different option for a lord, uh, but in the goblin variety, not so much in the orcs. Dyke Goblins actually have quite a bit of choice, and that's because in Age of Sigmar, um, you have uh, the Gloomspite Gits, who are essentially a Night Goblin-style faction, and certainly based upon Night Goblins. So when it comes to the Night Goblin uh, War Boss, you've got uh, um, three different options here. You've got a, a, a Squig Boss with Nasha Squig. Well, that's basically just a Night Goblin War Boss, and it's just a bit of uh, scenery with the Nasher Squig on the base. Um, you've got a Loon Boss, the guy in the middle, and uh, then you've got a Loon Boss on a Giant Cave Squig. A Giant Cave Squig was a mount option for a Night Goblin War Boss in the 8th edition army book. Whether it remains to be so, I don't know. Um, in, the, uh, in the new Warhammer the Old World army roster, um, but certainly it was an option before, and so you've got three different choices here for Night Goblins. Night Goblins probably in the best place overall for all of the Orcs and Goblins. Okay, when it comes to the Great Shamans, however, you do have um, an option for uh, an Orc Great Shaman Lord, so maybe you go for a combination of Savage Orcs and, uh, and an Orc Great Shaman for your Lord. Uh, he's listed as a Weird Knob Shaman, so if you go in putting Orc Great Shaman, you're probably not going to get what you want, um, but if you go for a Weird Knob Shaman, this is what you get, and actually you've got a pretty reasonable miniature here um, to use as your Orc Great Shaman, again, lacking any of the mount options or anything else, but um, to be honest, with, a, uh, with, with casters and magic users at the moment, from what I've seen from the rules, and I'm talking about seen from a distance on... Uh, a battle report that uh, Games Workshop did and their their website. Um, it still looks like casters, I think I'll probably want inside a unit anyway. In terms of Savage Orcs, you've got Savage Orc Great Shamans. Uh, they're listed on uh, the uh, um, Age of Sigmar section of the website as a war doc, the guy on the left here, and then the Wurgog Prophet here. Both of them uh, easily can be used as a Savage Orc Great Shaman. So, so far we're seeing a good selection of Lords lacking on the Orcs, better for the Goblins, but we're getting both Shamans and Melee Lords here. Then you've got a Goblin Great Shaman. Um, so, Age of Sigmar listing is a Web Spinner Shaman on a Arachnorok Spider. So this is a Goblin Great Shaman that's on uh, on the Arachnorok. So, no, nothing on the ground. So you're, you're limited to this, uh, which is a shame. As I said, casts I probably want in units. Um, but an Arachnorok is a pretty big old uh, beast. And um, there's definitely an option here if you were going down this path. And options is what we want to see. 
So the Night Goblin Great Shaman. Again, you've got two good options here, and these are obviously all uh, new models from the Gloom Spike Gits. You've got Skagrot the Loon King. Um, he could easily uh, be a good Night Goblin Great Shaman. Uh, and you've got a Fungoid Cave Shaman Snazgar Stink Mullet, complete with all the mushrooms. Now, if you actually look in the 8th edition army book, one of the items for a Night Goblin Shaman or Great Shaman is Magic Mushroom. So it absolutely does fit with the uh with the with the, the with the theme. So, you know, I think these these are pretty, you know, true to, to Night Goblins and would fit with any um Orc and Goblin release in the future with future Night Goblins. And the reason for that is some of the Night Goblin infantry is still available and these are designed to fit with it. Um and uh, as a core faction, we know Orcs and Goblins are going to get a bigger release with new models, um, but also a re-release of those old ones. And I don't think these Gloom Spike gits are um, aesthetically going to be too far away. So again, we've got the Savage Orc Big Boss, which is a Savage Orc Big Boss on, uh, on the website. And uh, yeah, you can use him as that or the War Boss, as I have said. Goblin Big Boss in the same situation. You've got the Scuttle Boss on Gigantic Spider. He could be a Goblin Big Boss instead of a Goblin War Boss. Um, maybe you paint him differently. Maybe you add some things or take some things away um, to, to make him a, the difference between a War Boss and a Big Boss. But the option is definitely there. Night Goblin Big Boss, again, very much the same as before. Um, you've got the War Boss options and either one of these, you know, you could say this guy's the War Boss and this guy's the Big Boss, depending on how you want to do it. Uh, but again, the options are there uh, as long as you're making it clear to your opponent who is what, then I'm sure they will have no issue. The advantage you've got here, of course, is um, the miniatures are different. So you could clearly define it with a different miniature of him being the, the War Boss and him being the Big Boss. So... Um, definitely, definitely the options there. Orc Shaman, again, you've got the weird knob Shaman. So we had him as the great Shaman before, but he could just be a basic Orc Shaman as well. Um, uh, again, you know, uh, maybe paint him differently or whatever else if you're trying to differentiate. But it would be unusual, I think, to have um, a great Orc Great Shaman and an Orc um, uh, Normal Shaman. Uh, you probably be looking for other things like goblin shamans and, and so on. Got Savage Orc Shaman, again, exactly the same as the others. Um, this is where you are doubling up, but that's just because that's what's available. Um, you've got the Savage Orc Shaman, which is the War Dog and the Wurgog Prophet. Um, here, actually, it could be quite nice because you could make the Wurgog Prophet, because he's got more stuff on him, could quite easily be the Great Shaman with having the War Dog just as the basic Savage Orc Shaman and, and clearly defined between the two. Night Goblin Shaman, again, plenty of options. You've got uh, an AOS listing of a Madcap uh, uh, Shaman, which is this one here. Um, but there's also uh, like a warband uh, group as well, which is Gobba Palooza. Uh, and you can see these guys here. They look quite freaky. Um, but they could actually be quite good as a uh, Night Goblin uh, shamans as well so um, if you're looking at them you know some of them have got the mushrooms and everything on them uh, here and his mushroom here in his foot so um, these guys absolutely could be night goblin shamans and and certainly there's a couple in here there's certainly that one and this one here uh, in particular that aren't too far away from a night goblin aesthetic and wouldn't look too um, odd in uh, a re-release of the the, cl the classic miniatures but um, this this is would probably be a good place to, to start and go to if you're just looking for one. Savage Orcs. Um, so the listing is Savage Orc, which Orc is the new name for Orcs. And you can see here you've got both um, different types uh, here of the Savage Orcs. So um, here you've got them you know, with their uh, uh, two-hand weapons and, and, and all sorts. You've got a big stabber at the back there. Um, so, yeah, Savage Orcs as a core unit are available. So um, at least we have some core infantry, but no basic Orcs, unfortunately. But so far, good selection of characters, both uh, Lords and Heroes. And now we've got at least some core infantry. Also in the core infantry, you've got Goblin... Uh, wolf riders now this is age of sigmar listed as snarl fang riders now these guys do look a little bit different uh, i think you know they're, they're clearly modern 
um, how different and the size of the wolves. I, I don't own these. I can't comment in terms of the size of them compared to the old ones. They look a little bit bigger, the actual wolves themselves. So I think if you were going for wolf riders, you kind of either have to stick with the new ones or just use the old ones. They probably don't mix and match very well. And the aesthetic of the goblins um, clearly looks a bit different as well. So just something to take into account when looking at the more modern miniatures is how do they fit and look with the rest of your army? Do they look odd or not? Uh, but either way, you do have a goblin wolf rider unit here and actually the miniature is pretty damn good. Night Goblins, well, there's plenty going on here. So in Age of Sigma, they're actually listed separately as stabbers if you want them with hand weapons and shields, shooters if you want them with the bows, and then you want your fanatics as well, which are known as loon smasher fanatics. So the ability to field a Night Goblin unit, absolutely. And these are the classic miniatures here, and you've got your fanatics to go with it as well. So um, Night Goblins, as I said, well served in terms of... Um, miniatures basic orcs not so you're looking really at a savage orc night goblin combination to get the uh, the best variety with some uh, spider um, forest goblins in there as well and talking of that we've got forest goblin spider riders up next known as grot spider riders on the website but these are uh, classic uh, forest goblin spider rider miniatures and um uh, yeah, again, giving you some flexibility here with a bit of cavalry style in your goblins. And it's, it's all about that variation. We don't know how long it'll be before Orcs and Goblins get a, a Warhammer the Old World release. Next up, Savage Orc Boar Boys. You've got two types here, Savage Boar Boys and Savage Boar Boy Maniacs. You can see here the Maniacs having the two-handed weapons and... Um, that was uh, a, an option in uh, the 8th edition book. Whether it'll be the same, I don't know. But you do have Savage Orc Cavalry, at least. Um, so again, keeping that flexibility. So what we can see so far is um, Orcs and Goblins definitely have a path to building a reasonable uh, army list, a playable army list with a variety of units, infantry, lords, heroes, and cavalry. Night Goblin Squig Hoppers as well. So again, Night Goblins continuing their run of having a good selection of units. Squig Hoppers being available, as is the Night Goblin Squig Herd. So they're doing pretty good. So um, you can pretty much field an entire Night Goblin army uh, with the choices that you have. Um, and that, that wouldn't be unheard of. Um, also, you do have the option of monsters as well. So you've got an Arachnorock Spider absolutely currently available. Um, so yeah, we've got infantry, we've got cavalry uh, of different types uh, with the spiders and the boars, and we've also now got uh, monsters in the Arachnorock Spider. So um, again, um, a good variety of miniatures to field an army with. Night Goblins again having the Mangler Squigs in that rare option. Two very, very large <laughs> squigs here, um, but a, uh, a, a good choice to put into the army. Stone Trolls as well. So um, they're listed as Rock Gut Trogoths now, um, but Stone Trolls giving you uh, that sort of monster, monster option as well. So um, not something as just plain as the big old monster spider, but now you've got some trolls in there, or some Stone Trolls at least. Um, and along with them, we have the Fell Water Trogoths, which are the River Trolls. So these guys um, also available. So plenty of options unfortunately a lot of these monsters tend to be in rare how many you're going to be able to take is is uh dependent uh upon uh, the points costs um but uh plenty of options for the orcs and goblins giant as well listed as an ale guzzler gargant or a man crusher gargant both options are available um so yeah uh, a giant definitely available for the orcs and goblins and there you go. There is quite a few missing units. So if we look at the missing units, you've got Orc war bosses. The Black Orcs are the big ones that are missing. Um, I, I really don't think the Iron Jaws um, work that well in the aesthetic that you will have Black Orcs. So there will be a re-release of these. Um, so if there was no other option and these were a legacy army, then you might consider using the Iron Jaws as, as, as that's all there's ever going to be. Um, or, or you go third party. But with a re-release, I'd expect the Black Orcs to come back. I just don't think the Iron Jaws 
will fit aesthetically very well. Uh, you're missing just a couple of things like Goblin Great Shaman, the Wyvern Mount, some of the heroes. Again, Black Orcs. Um, but core-wise, you're missing it's, the, it's those Orcs. You're missing a lot of the Orcs, so the Orc Boys, the Orc Arrow Boys. So you're missing, you're missing that sort of... You don't have a real tough infantry core. Um, I mean, you have the Savage Orcs, but they're not a tough infantry core, right? So uh, you don't have the ranged infantry either. Black Orcs uh, will be definitely missed, certainly from, from my army list. Um, uh, uh, you're missing the basic Orc Boar Boys and the Chariot, also the Goblin Wolf Chariot. You're missing all of the War Machines as well. So no Spear Chuckers, uh, no Rock Lobbers, Doom Divers, and no Snotling Pump Wagon, and also no basic Trolls, but you do have the Stone Trolls and River Trolls. The difference being is they sit in Rare, whereas the basic Trolls sit in Special. So lots missing. Some key units, or, or certainly um iconic units missing um but you're still able to field a pretty reasonable orc force um but it's going to be a combination of savage orcs and night goblins with a bit of forest goblin spider stuff on the side so um the choice is there um but on the release, you're gonna it's gonna be quite different when you start putting black orcs in the mix. The biggest issue I'm seeing is just not having those uh, a, a big durable infantry anvil. You're probably gonna have to be looking at more, maybe um, uh, multiple units of cheaper goblins and, and having to do some shenanigans there overall. But orcs and goblins in a better spot than some of the other core armies, like we've seen with dwarves and. Um, and Empire, Empire not even being able to field an army, and High Elves not even having any units you can buy. There you go, that's the end of this video. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, let me know why in the comments down below. And as always, if you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button, totally free for you to do. It means a big deal for me, so thank you for that in advance. If you've been watching The Ghost Owl, I'll see you all very soon.